Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining another YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about basic fly bench organization, um, especially for beginner fly tires. Um, as you start to tie, um, you'll quickly become a fly tying nerd, kind of like I am, um, and things will start to get very disorganized very, very quickly. If you saw one of my previous videos about not being a slob, um, it is very, very easy to get to that level. So I have some basic, simple, cost-effective things that you can do to help keep your fly bench organized. An organized bench will lead to better fly productivity, but more importantly, more uh, better fly creativity. Um, and that's sort of what you want to play with different variations, different colors, different sizes, etc. Um, so I know when I first started to tie flies, I started off with you know, one to two bags of hooks, um, two to three bags of different beads, uh, one to two bags of different dubbing materials. Um, and that quickly evolved into dozens. Um, and then from dozens to, I would say, just hundreds of different types of materials. Um, so one thing I found was that, you know, I didn't really have I guess a lot of funds, so to say, to buy some of that really, really nice, fancy fly bench, um, I guess, tools and toolkits um, and organization bins, etc. They're great products, don't get me wrong, um, but for a beginner fly tire, this, this hobby can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Um, and I found some pretty cost effective means uh, to keep my bench organized. Uh, back when I first started and ones that I still use to this very day. Uh, so one of those things is actually, is this thing right here. So this is a basic sort of plastic holder. And in here, they have these little containers. So let me see if you guys can, can see that right there. Um, and they're stackable uh, with a lid on the top one. And then each one thereafter becomes sort of like its own lid for the one below it. Um, and what I've done is, because of the various hook types out there, is I've completely nerded out um, and got a label, make, a label maker. And I've actually labeled this stack of five as an example for all my caddis flies. So I have them ranged, I have them organized by size. So caddis 18, 16, and then I think I got 14, 12, and 10. Um, but when you're learning to tie flies and you see one of those great tutorials out there, um, where they're like, yeah, I used a caddis size 16, a 2.4 millimeter bead. Um, I, I used pheasant tail for the, this and that you want to be able to sort of, you're like, Oh, I love that fly. I want to tie it. You want to be able to find your, your stuff quickly. And this is one awesome way to sort of keep your hooks organized. I also use that same thing to organize my beads. So here and here I got my different copper beads. Um, I have some nickel beads in here as well. And inside each of them, I have a little label saying uh, for what hook sizes they're for. So great, a great cost effective way. And I found this at Michael's. So Michael's, um, a lot of people think it's for those arts and craftsy people, a lot to do with painting, etc. Believe it or not, Michael's is a gold mine for, you know, a DIY type of approach on organizing your fly bench. Um, a lot of my fly bench um, organization things are from Michael's. Uh, so use that. You can see here as well, I got this a separate one and I stack this one up high. These are some of my fancier beads um, for some more flash, flashy type flies, but I keep that to the side. The other thing that I get from Michaels um, and even the dollar store are just these little loops. So when you have a bag of mar bags and bags of marabou or hackle or schlappen, whatever you call it, silly legs, these little simple rings can really, really help keep your bench organized. The last thing I wanna to touch on are these um, dubbing dispensers. So there's a lot of great companies out there that make some fantastic dubbing um, 
For example, this Antron Bright. This is my steel head dispenser. And you'll notice that it came like that. I bought it just like this. And if you look closely, there's actually these little holes here. And that just allows for quicker, you know, picking out your dubbing and then dubbing it on your thread. I find that extremely useful. Not every dubbing company does that. Um, often at times you'll get little bags like this. So I just bought a bunch of Simi Seal from Fly Life Company and I went, I went nuts as usual. Don't tell my wife, but you can see like this, this, this is stupid. This is getting ridiculous now. I mean, happy because now I can tie so many different types of flies. Um, but what am I gonna do with this? It's just gonna sit on my bench. Um, so what I started doing is at any of your sort of big box stores, you can buy just these regular dispensers. These are traditionally used um, where people put in like their split shots, different hook sizes and stuff, um, and it opens and closes. These were like, I don't know, four bucks. And then I simply drilled my own holes to pull them. And then I started really nerding out and I ran out of tape for my um, label maker. So I just wrote on it with a, with a Sharpie. This is a, a dry dub dispenser. And, and then I labeled each one, muskrat, muskrat natural, frog's hair, frog's hair, March brown, etc. So you can do this yourself. And you can see if I've done it numerous times. I'm running out of fingers, but you, you can see my point here where I'm saying you can get kind of carried away, but your, your, your options become endless at that point. So great, great um, sort of DIY trick. Pick these up at any sort of your big box stores, Sale, Bass Pro, etc., um, and make your own dispensers. And that is it for this video. So, again, Michael's, the craft store, believe it or not, awesome. This thing was like, I think it was like 14 bucks. And it came with these five dispensers in each, with all together. So, Pick one up. I'm probably gonna pick up another one very, very soon because I just got, again, a bunch more hooks and a bunch more beads, etc. So I need to keep myself more organized. I'm gonna be picking up some more of these dispensers and making my own to deal with this nonsense. Um, and then I'm gonna be getting some more loop rings because I just picked up a bunch of different hackles, ostrich plumes, which I'm in love with. Um, but yeah, I got to keep myself organized or else things become a huge mess. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. I hope you picked up a small trick. I hope you give it a shot. Um, if you have any questions, uh, don't forget to comment below. Um, and also, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate any support you got. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.